One thing that I do remember that differentiates Bush Gardens from other parks are the up-close and personal encounters it offers with all different types of animals. If you thought getting close enough to get a good picture was cool, just wait till you see what the Kangaloom, a kangaroo feeding experience has to offer. In less than a minute, one of the kangaroos decided to take us up on a free lunch. These guys have to put up with a never-ending salad bar, adoring attention from park guests, and all the nap time they can handle. Before we knew it, a half an hour had passed and we realized there was a whole lot more park to see. While Jake followed the sign instructions to a T, I silently pondered about whether or not there are petting zoos for cows in Australia. One of the cool things about theme parks and being at theme parks for a couple of days is that it's infectious. You might start off and kind of be grumpy, maybe the flight was a long flight or you know you just have issues along the way. When you finally get to the theme park, it does, it becomes infectious. Yeah, you do you see happy families, you see people with smiles on their faces, you see this like community, this little microcosm community, and it's hard not to just put a smile on your face and lighten up, forget about work, forget about stuff back home and just enjoy yourself. Sensing that we were dangerously close to becoming a public service announcement, we decided to go do something Audrey had never done here before, experience some of their world-famous coasters. Shikra was intimidating, but totally worth the wait. If you disembark feeling a little disheveled, just take a spot next to the water and enjoy a nice, subtle cool down. And if you still need a little pick-me-up, we recommend taking a snack break and sitting down with your map to plan the rest of your day. But be forewarned, choose a map keeper wisely or doodling could ensue. Yeah, sorry about that. If your map doodling gets you out of your family's good graces, consider buying a round of souvenirs. Actually, here's a quick tip for pale Midwesterners like us, unaccustomed to the glorious Florida sun. Do everything you can to avoid a sunburn. When sunscreen just isn't enough, and it usually isn't, don't be too stingy to invest in a hat. Your dermatologist and your loved ones will thank you. And if you consider yourself a cat person, you'll be in luck when you visit Bush Gardens. They have one of the most amazing tiger exhibits I've ever seen at a portion of the park called Jungala. So it's really, really, really fitting that this is a park where I'm supposed to like reconnect with my childhood because seeing all these animals so up close and personal seriously makes me feel like a little kid again. I'm giddy. I, it's like Christmas. Even though Bush Gardens offers you glimpses of life around the world, lots of souvenirs and plenty of family rides, Audrey and I discovered that it was the animals that drew our attention again and again. And that's what we spent the majority of our time on. I can't say why exactly, but even I felt a slight kinship with some of them. Part of the reason for that is that all of the animals in the park are so easy to see. It seems like anywhere you stand, you can get a great view of the elephants lining up for a buffet or alligators lounging around and keeping an eye on you. This provides a certain sense of awe and wonder to the atmosphere, and it really got me thinking about what was so special about my childhood memories of the park. And so being here, I'm remembering being a child and being with my parents when they were around my age. So that's one of the most wonderful things about theme parks to me is that they are just these little timeless places that are all about family. It's all about coming and having a good time, whether you're a young married couple like Jake and I or whether you're parents, it doesn't matter. These are places specifically for families to come and have a wonderful time. Before we knew it, the park was almost closed. We had just enough time to venture over to the Egypt area, ride the coaster there called Montu, check out a replica of Tut's tomb, take a picture with Big Mama, and do a little last minute browsing in the gift shops, which Audrey seemed particularly inspired by. And then, sadly, it was time to go home. 
but I left the park feeling pretty sentimental, and Jake and I are certain that the park geeks are going to have to return for an extended visit in the very near future. For Park Geeks, I'm Jake. And I'm Audrey. And don't forget, roller coasters aren't just for kids. Ready? Yep. Let's go.